Example 26, hummingbirds beat their wings in flight an average of 55 times per second. Assume the standard deviation is 10 and that the distribution is symmetric and mounded. Approximately what percentage of hummingbirds beat their wings between 45 and 65 times per second? Between 55 and 65 and less than 45. All right, so when I read this problem, the first thing I see in the problem that jumps out at me is this phrase here that says that the distribution is symmetric and mounded. That makes me think of the bell curve. And then they're asking here approximately what percentage of hummingbirds. So that phrase there, approximately what percentage, that's the kind of phrase you see in the empirical rule telling us that it's bell-shaped essentially, you know, that it's symmetric and mounted also implies empirical rule. And then we're looking for the percent that's inside an interval. So at this point, I'm pretty certain that it's empirical rule. And then I will know to draw the bell curve to start the problem. Okay, so I'm gonna draw the bell curve. The bell curve for the first one. will be centered at the mean. The mean here it says is 55, so we're gonna put 55 here in the middle. Then up top here, we'll label the standard deviation. That was told to be 10 in the problem. Okay, so we have the mean, we have the standard deviation. Our next step is gonna to be to label the interval on our drawing by subtracting and adding standard deviations until we arrive at the numbers that they gave us in the interval. So when we look at this number here, 10, we'll subtract 10 from 55. We do that once, that's one standard deviation below. That gives us 45, and that's the number in our interval there, so I'm gonna stop at 45, and I'm going to say, okay, that's the first number we have in our interval. Now, since I have the lower number, I'm gonna start adding this number to 55, and if I add 10 to 55, I get 65, and that's the number at the top of our interval, so that tells me that I have the interval I'm looking for, and it was one below and one above. Now, we were told in empirical rule that whenever we had one standard deviation away from the mean, and remember, one standard deviation away from the mean means one standard deviation on both sides. So whenever we're one standard deviation away from mu, the percentage is approximately 68%. So that means 68% of the data is between this number and this number on this drawing. And that's the answer to the first part of the problem. All right, that's easy enough. Let's look at the second part. The second part says between 55 and 65. So I'm not gonna do a new drawing here. I'm just gonna look at my drawing and say, hey, between 55 and 65 is between these two parts, right? And if the whole thing was 68, and if bell curves are symmetric, right? Symmetric means that they're equal on both sides of the middle, right? So in other words, they're mirror images. The right side is a mirror image of the left side when you look at it from the perspective of the middle line here. That tells us that if the whole area from here to here is 68, this half must be half of 68, which is 34%. So this is 34%. So the answer to part B is 34%. All right, and then finally, the last part, less than 45. Let's do a new drawing for that one. So draw the bell curve. And again, we'll label in the middle the mean. The mean is 55. Now, to do what we did before, we'll start counting down standard deviations, right? So let's go backwards because we're looking for 45. If I take one standard deviation, deviation away, pardon me, I get 45. But they want to know less than. They're looking for this part, right? They want to know what's here. Well, we don't actually have a direct way to get that, but we do know that looking at this drawing above, between 45 and 55 must be 34, right? We said this because 68% was between one standard deviation away from the mean, so between 45 and 65, there was 68% of the data, half of it's 34. So that means this part here on our drawing, the same part here, is 34%. Now, because the curve has a total area of 100%, that means that this half over, all the way from here over, from here to here, is a total of 50%. Let's think about that. Half of the curve is 50%. This half of the curve has two parts. It has a shaded part and a part that's in white, right? If these two parts must add up to 50%, it must mean that 34 plus something equals 50. So the question is, what's this something, right? Well, it's a simple algebra problem then, correct? All we have to do is say 50% 
minus the 34%. And that will give us 16%, which is the amount that must be here, because only if this is 16% do these two parts add up to 30. And that's it. So that's our solution for the last one. And that's the general approach when solving these problems using the empirical rule. You always do a drawing. And then from the drawing, just you know, count out standard deviations and use those memorized rules. You know, one standard deviation is 68%, two captures 95, and three standard deviations capture 99.7. Use those together and sort of logic to figure out any area you're looking for under the curve.